In today's video, I'll be showing you what you need to do to get better at anime adventures in update 11.7.5. This video can help any players even if you are a pro or a new player in this game. I'll be showing you tips, tricks, and ways to become the very best player in anime adventures. Without needing to spend money by the way. Remember, if you enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. And with that being said, let's get this started. Yahoo! First step is to finish all your story mode acts. As when you finish all your story mode acts, it will make you closer to getting better at this game. As once you finish every single act in this game, you will be prepared for the next update as well as you will be able to access every portals such as alien portal, alien portals right here, demon leader, demon leader portal, not those ones, demon leader portals, which these portals will drop Merlin or Boros and this is what Merlin looks like. And this is what Boros looks like. Lord Boron. By the way, these are the Evo, Evo versions. And you can, you do get the non-Evo version. So you'll be needing star fruits. Yes, and this is what Boron looks like on evo Yes. Which are exclusive and limited units. So having more than one of those units will worth a lot once they are removed and look at me i finish every single story mode axe finishing every axe will also unlock the hard modes which you will be able to get even more gems especially if you are in need of gems and these hard modes are a bit harder than normal so inviting a friend will help you a ton not only that you'll be able to unlock the legend stages which will help you to evolve the new meta units yes Look at these. Nice, nice. So many. And one more thing I do want to say on this topic is finishing every story, mo story mode axe also helps you level up, especially if you want to get to level 50 fast. Very pog. Next step is to finish your infinity castle. Since infinity castle will be resetting next week, so make sure you are in room 100 to get yourself the exclusive unit which is Unahana from Bleach. Not only you get the exclusive unit, you will also unlock various rewards such as stat cubes for you to reroll on your unit stats to get even better stat as each room gives you 150 gems which means when you finish room 100, you will get 15,000 gems which is the fastest way to get gems right now in anime adventures. Look at this, Bloodstar, perfect stat cube. 10 star remnants, 5 star remnants, 10 summon tickets, and 5 summon tickets. And I am in room 413 right now, trying to get to leaderboard as if you guys do not know, if you guys are in the leaderboard, you'll be getting the leaderboard unit, which is pretty nice. And I also have guaranteed to get myself the shiny Unahana, so I am very happy. And look at that, ranking 99.99%, yahoo! And this is another way, a great way. For you to farm levels to get up to level 50 for you to unlock your sixth unit and trading will be granted at this level doing your infinity castle is also the fastest way to farm for your ammo battle pass as you progress along through your infinity castle you'll also get yourself ammo for your battle pass and as i have mentioned previously this will get boring at times, so I suggest watching anime or you can watch my videos to fasten your time, yeah. Next step is to play with your friends as they will be able to help you progress your games as it is better to play with other players than playing by yourself. So make sure to invite your friends to play along with you and go to Anime Adventures Discord server since I'm sure there are people who are willing to play with you and carry you throughout your games. The next step is to finish your ammo battle pass as it will give you star fruits, trait rerolls, exclusive units, and not but not least, cursed fingers. These exclusive units, vast cross, vast cross, and Hanji Captain, Hanji Captain, are literally the best starters you can have in anime adventures right now. And this is what Hanji look like. You do get the shiny version if you do buy the premium pass and I definitely recommend buying it by the way. It is definitely worth it as you will get more great rerolls. Very nice. Uh, this is the non-evil look like. 
I mean, non shiny one and vast cross. This is what he looks like. Looks very nice. Hog. And this is what the cosmetic look like. Look at that. Yeesh! It looks pretty alright, but it is what it is. This is the other one. The only difference is, is that it is a different color. Alright, and this is the cosmetic of Hanji Shiny. Look at that, it has a cape. And the non-shiny one looks like this. It has no cape. It's not good. It's a cape. Not only that it comes with a cosmetic, Hanji Captain is the best physical heal unit right now. Especially, she is way better than Soifan Hornet. This is what Soifan Hornet looks like. And Levi Ackerman. And I do know the OGs know on how hard it was to evolve Soy Fan Hornet. And knowing that Hanji Captain, this battle pass unit, is a lot easier to evolve and easier to get. And she is a lot better than the previous units, which is quite sad, but it is what it is. So if you are a beginner, I definitely recommend getting yourself Hanji Captain as she will carry you throughout your games like i'm not even joking you can probably finish your whole story mode axe with hanji captain an alternative unit you can go for is okara resurrection yes okara resurrection as he is one of the most easiest meta unit you can get especially if you are a beginner and if you are in need of a magic hybrid unit then getting yourself okara will help you progress into the game very very nice the game will be repetitive as you continue playing anime adventures. So what I do to avoid burnouts is by watching YouTube videos, especially mine, do my homework if I have any, and I tend to do a lot of various things such as farm fruits, do infinity castle, raids, and much more. So that is how I prevent myself from burnouts, and especially I still go to school, so I barely play this game in school days, so... The next step is to farm materials for relics since this will help you a lot especially miracle timepiece miracle timepiece right here is the best relic right now for magic units as you guys can look at the true damage and magic increase look at that 3.94 percent magic damage and every 36.4 seconds the next the next magic attack deals 120 percent extra true damage which is crazy as it will bypass through all the magic resistance. So if you bring along yourself this Miracle Timepiece on any of your games, it will help you a ton. And you can craft this relic by talking to this guy over here. And you can get these materials. These materials right here from countlessly defeating the Black Clover Legend Sages. And you do need to finish all of your Black Clover Story Mode acts to be able to play the Legend Stages. And that is not the only overpowered relic. There are Mangekyo Eye Relic and Lost Vein Relic. How to get Lost Vein Relic is by finishing 5 Demon Portals, which will drop Demonic Spellbook each portal and you will be needing 10 Relic Charge, which is obtained from the West City Frizo Invasion. This is going to be quite difficult, so I suggest inviting players through your games as it will help you a lot. And I forgot to mention that you do get the demon portals through Fable Kingdom maps like Fable Kingdom, Infinite Mode, Tournament, and Legend Stages. And you can no longer get the relic shards from the Storm Hideout, which is pretty sad. And the last relic I have mentioned is Mangekyo Eye Relic. This will only be essential for fire units as it will double the duration of the burn which will make your fire units do more damage. And how you can craft this relic is by defeating the West City Frizo Invasion Raid. And do remember, they can only do the Storm, not the Storm, the West City Frizo Invasion Raid Act 5 three times a day. Although, you can farm the Frizo Act 4, which the relic is a lower chance. And at the same time, while trying to get those relics, you might get yourself the exclusive units, such as... Chisui Flicker from the Storm Hideout, which is very nice. And the exclusive unit you can get on the West City Frizo Invasion Raid is Piccolo. Piccolo Nameless. And these units are limited. And this is also a tip for you to do your raids. Yes. 
The next step is to farm gems as it is important to have a lot of gems saved up when a new update is around the corner. Especially when you are stacked with gems you won't have to worry and wait for the unit to come back and just get them instantly as they appear in the banner. Not only you can use your gems to spin for units, you can use your gems to buy yourself devil portals which there is a chance to drop a devil star for you to get exclusive units. I know I have mentioned this before but this time the devil portals will be removed in the next update especially on how long they have been here. Yes, I forgot to mention nail relic is also very strong with gems you can also buy yourself evolution items for your units star fruits to evolve your units and star remnants to trade reroll your units which is quite handy especially if you are a free-to-play player and they are sold over here but Buma is not here right now so bit sad if you do not have time on your hands i recommend using tiny tasks where you can get gems while you're afk which will save you a lot of time. I do want to say is to not waste your gems on the banner units, especially when there is a brand new update coming so you can use your gems instead on the newer units as this game is a power creep so it won't be surprising if the newer units are better than the previous ones. So make sure to not waste your gems. All right, next step is to do your challenges. Yes, yes. And your daily challenges, especially every 30 minutes, challenges will reset. So make sure to do them as you will be granted with star fruits, which you will be able to use to evolve your units, especially the meta ones. I also suggest to stack all of your star fruits since the new update is nearly here. So having a collection will help you in the next update. See, these are all of my stars. All right, materials. Look at this. I got 50 pink star. 51 star fruit i still do not understand why they added a cap they should get rid of that please anime adventures get rid of it right now 70 star fruit green 57 blue star fruits which is pretty nice and not only thing that will give you star fruits it will also drop gold star remnants and many more yes yes and not only thing you can do challenges you can also do your daily challenges where it'll give you star remnants for you to trade reroll your units as well as you can also start reroll using the cubes you get from the daily challenges. If you want an S stat on your units, then I suggest rerolling your unit stats on your unit first with 100% worthiness. Then pray to God that the stats are going to be A+. Then it will be certain when you upgrade, when you evolve your unit, it will become S. Make sure to pray to God, although it is not 100% certain to make your A+, stat into an S. But it is worth a try, you know? Okay, so that is everything you'll be needing to do to get good in anime adventures. If you enjoyed, remember to subscribe and like the video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.